Comes out of fount of every blessing to my heart to sing thy praise Streams of mercy never ceasing Call for songs of loudest praise Teach me some Sung by flaming tongues above Praise the mountain fixed upon it The mount of thy redeeming love So I'm feeling relaxed right now. I'll be honest, woke up this morning, was a little nervous, had the jitters. I am excited. I am so happy and overjoyed. I'm really looking forward to seeing Jen and walk down the aisle and just to be moved by that special moment of seeing my bride and my wife-to-be to walk down and see her reaction and see everything just come together and just to say I do. So. Jennifer and I met at a young adults event in February 3rd, 2019. That's the exact date. Um, Jordan was speaking on a panel um, and I so happened to be there and he was talking about joy. I was speaking about joy and then so happens that joy walks into my life through Jennifer and we met and from that moment on we just continued to talk from there. May 21st, 2021, our wedding day, to my wife. Today is the day, the day we have been preparing for so long. Jen, you are everything that I have prayed for. You really are the joy that walked into my life. From the moment that I met you that night at Calvary was a night my life changed forever. You often ask me how I knew you were the one and I often told you different scenarios how I knew, but I never told you the real reason until now. The truth is, is that you are an answer to a prophetic word that was given to me five years ago. Five years ago, when I was in Philadelphia, God had given me a word. The word was that I would return home and there I would find my wife. She would bring me joy, be beautiful from the inside and out and one who would bring the best out of me. I would know who this person is by the unspeakable joy that I feel. I'm the happiest man to be alive because of you and you show me every day that God is faithful when I look my eyes on you. I am so excited that today you will be my wife. As Proverbs 18 verse 22 says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and receives favor from the Lord. In finding you, I have found the one whom my soul loves. Solomon says two are better than one because they have a good return for their work. If one falls down, his friend can help him up. 
but pity the man who falls and has no one to help him up. Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves, and a cord three strands is not quickly broken. Jordan, my forever, I vow to respect you and honor you as the leader of our home. I vow to choose love even when times are difficult. I vow to be your biggest cheerleader even in your wildest dreams. I promise to pursue loving God first so that I can love you better. Where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people and your God, my God. I will be right by your side. I cannot promise that life will be perfect because it won't, but it will be a perfect life lived with you, pursuing the Lord to the end of our days. Jordan, I take you to be my husband, to grow old with you and celebrate the beauty of life, to be the mother of your children one day and to laugh and enjoy our legacy. It is my greatest privilege to spend the rest of my days loving you. And as your husband, I vow to love you always, to protect you, to honor you, to be there by your side in the good times and even in the rough times, my love, always. And I vow to be committed only to you. And as Ephesians 5 says, that a husband shall love his wife as Christ loves the church. So I vow to do the same, to love you just as Jesus loves his church. For as much as you have given yourselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of your hands and the giving of rings, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Jordan, you may now kiss your bride. (laughs) (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jordan Christopher Diaz. I wish you guys nothing but the best. Happiness, respect, no longer I, but we.